David, just a massive win out there and deserved today. How are you feeling after that one? Yeah, I'm I'm over the moon. It it was fantastic what the players have shown today. I think uh, the win was great, yes, but the performance was a very good one, especially first half. A very front foot, energetic defending team. Uh, they they closed the pitch. Uh, they always uh, went in their face, uh, played some good football in ball possession as well. And unfortunately, we conceded in the second half uh, a very avoidable goal after own through in. But how the players then reacted uh, to come back after 1 0 down against the opponent, I think they were unbeaten in 10 or only lost 1 in 13. This only shows this is uh, and was the informed team of the league, uh, and you have seen why, uh, but I think it was a deserved win, uh, excellent shift which the players have put in great goals, which we scored, and uh, yeah, fantastic performance, fantastic uh, afternoon, I'm, I'm so, so happy for, for, for my dressing room and for the supporters as well. You've been very complimentary of Coventry before and just now in the game. How do you think, what was the plan to neutralise their quality and how well was it executed? Yeah, I think everybody has seen how good they are and this is exactly what I said before the game and uh, we clearly said we have to make sure that we are on the front foot, that we are brave and, and really go in their face. Don't give them the freedom to enjoy their football, uh, be aggressive really on the front foot and this is what the players have done and obviously then we said as well, as better as we are in ball possession, as more we can put them on the back foot and uh, this worked quite well as well. Even if I have to say we had some more... Uh, technical mistakes in in our passing accuracy than than I than I hoped, but um, even uh, this was good enough to win this game. And uh, we have work to do. Uh, don't get me wrong; this is for sure. But if you've seen now after the recent fixtures which we had with Southampton, Hull, West Brom, Leeds, Coventry, uh, how the players uh, performed in this game, how they collected points and wins in these games. Um, this was proper, wasn't it? And uh, this is now exactly what they've shown. They set the standard, they, 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 they've shown their demands. Great that they were able to show this. Good to have players back. We always set this uh, to have more competitiveness, uh, what we have. And now uh, we set this the whole time. Uh, we have a lot of trust and belief uh, in, in our dressing room, in our team. And um, we have 16 games to go and we will take them. You said you were pleased with the way the players responded to going 1-0 down, but yourself making changes in that second half, changing the game. I want to, if I may, flag Ashley Barnes because I thought when he came on, he was absolutely outstanding. Do you feel the same? Yeah, absolutely. He is, uh, he is a proper, proper adult man and footballer as well. He puts a shift always on, fights for every ball, uh, comes in dangerous areas, a very football intelligent um, Everyone, me included, loves Barnsley and we are very happy to have him in our squad and he was very lively and for sure he, he made an impact uh, like all the other subs to be fair as well. Like in the past, to be fair, all of the subs in the past in recent games made an impact today again and this is exactly what we need and this is what, what I mean if I speak about the competitiveness and, and um, yeah the, the, the squad which we now have together who really can push uh, as a starter or an impact player, whoever uh, can change from week to week, from game to game, and everyone has the right mindset, this is great. And seeing it click out there on the pitch, but also in the stands, that noise returned to Carrow Road. We're in a strong position to build on this momentum now, aren't we? Yeah, it felt a little bit like at the beginning of the season, uh, to be fair. And uh, so I think I said this more often, uh, the players win football matches and it's a big, big credit to them that they were able to change uh, the mood, the atmosphere in the stands as well with their performances and their wins. And now I think, um, yeah, we all together, uh, our supporters in the stands as well, have to make sure that we keep going, that we keep uh, going this momentum, that we keep believing and pushing, even if it happens that you are one nil down. It's football, it can happen, come on. Uh, does not mean uh, you have lost the game. So uh, keep pushing, keep believing and don't start to to doubt anything, this makes no sense and uh, this is exactly what this dressing room, this players, this characters has have done uh, fantastic uh, since day one of the preseason. to be fair. And um, yeah, as I said, now we have 16 games to go. We take game by game QPR next one where we really like to show a good performance again.